we will show you how to use ag kafil and if required how to calibrate it ag kafil is an innovative digital manometer which is ce certified approved by fda as well as dcgi ag kafil is a very simple and easy to use device its unique syringe like design makes ag kafil very useful and easy to inflate as well as measure the cuff pressure of endotracheal tube tracheotomy tubes and even lmas very accurately ag kafil is designed as a 10 cc syringe with lcd display panel to show you the reading battery to operate ag kafil is housed in the head of the plunger a sensitive sensor to record the cuff pressure is embedded inside the barrel at its tip the lcd display at the end of plunger displays the pressure in the cuff yellow button is power on button once you switch on the device it switches off automatically after 60 seconds this is to conserve the battery life as well as to ensure that you get error free readings through the life of device that is for over 100 readings when you switch on the device by pressing this yellow button the device checks itself and calibrates automatically the first reading displayed on the lcd is the number of readings remaining out of 100 followed by 00 indicating that ag kafil is ready for use if the device displays any number other than 00 it means the device requires calibration to inflate the et cuff pull back the plunger connect to pilot tube and push the plunger in to inflate the endotracheal cuff as you inflate you can see the pressure reading on the lcd once you achieve the desired pressure stop inflating and disconnect from pilot tube to measure or check the et cuff pressure in intubated patients switch on ag kafil ensure the plunger is fully pressed down and there is minimal dead space inside the barrel connect ag kafil to pilot tube You can check the ET cuff pressure as displayed on LCD screen. Hold the plunger lightly so that pressure from ET cuff does not push back the plunger giving false reading. In intubated patients, you may see fluctuations due to ventilator mechanism. Consider the lower reading as ET cuff pressure. If the ET cuff is over inflated, pull back the plunger slightly to adjust the pressure to the desired level and then disconnect. You will agree any device used in your practice should be calibrated to give an accurate reading. However, as observed with all devices, there may be a need to calibrate this device before using it. Unlike analog manometer devices which have to be sent to manufacturer for calibration, you can calibrate AG kafil very easily within a few seconds. When you switch on the power button by pressing yellow button, the number displayed is other than 00 like 01 or 02. then your device requires calibration wait for the device to switch off automatically after 60 seconds after the device switches off simply press the yellow button and hold the button down for more than 5 seconds the display will start to blink and then display 00 ag kafil is now calibrated and ready to use